I am Mystical Mia, and this is my podcast, Elect Reality, where we discuss living with this planet and not just on it. My goal is to slow the roll and then stop one-time plastic use in the Southwest United States to help save the planet. Plastic companies find ways to soak their plastics into a lot of mass-produced products. The less we use the products, the better chance we have at helping make this planet a safer, healthier place for our bodies, minds, and spirits. My website is southwestmystic.net and my YouTube is at Southwest Mystic. I appreciate your time. Thanks. Today, we are going to discuss the sun. I started this season with the moon in episode one, your innermost foundation mother-built emotions. Now we discuss your sun sign, the representative of who the world sees of you. The sun is known to be a father symbol and carries a masculine energy. This is simply because the sun is incredibly strong, guiding, and consistent in mannerisms, just like you would want good old pops to be. When you were born, the constellation that was behind the sun was assigned as your sun sign. If you were born with the Leo behind the sun, this makes you a double Leo of the zodiac of Le- as Leo is represented by the sun. Imagining the sun as a spotlight and the world as a stage, the sun shines its light onto you on that stage. If you are vibing positive, then you will be showing all the gifts and creativity that the positivity brings to the stage. If negative, then it will go the other way. It is important to ensure that your audience, or at least those first couple rows that you can see their faces, are like-minded or open-minded so that you are confident on your stage. This is the strength that your sun sign gives you, the courage to face the world. Just to relay a quick example, in my lunar mind, which is a Leo moon sign, I am simply not complacent as a person in this world. I do not just enjoy sitting around and pretending I'm at peace when I see all the issues around me. Instead, I have this, go do something about it then, deep inside my soul. So here I am talking, hoping to help reduce and reuse products more so than the scam of recycling, aka throwing it into the ocean or sending it to other countries to burn or, you know, sit to rot for thousands of years. The moon in Leo, for me, is intelligent, courageous, and willing to stand up. My sun sign is a Pisces, which is emotional and intuition-driven, meaning that your response from my actions can either make or break me. I must stay aware of this sun and moon duality. It is a part of my being, and it helps me to thrive as a sensitive person. Your sun sign usually lets you know how athletic you will be. A Taurus sign, for example, is very athletic or artistic and independent in their mannerisms. Um, a sun a sun in Leo will ensure that everyone in their support systems knows they can always be better. A sun in Virgo will empathetically call you out and be ready to lift you back up because they are good friends. If you were to ask someone, what do you know about so-and-so, and that person was a genuine person and a genuine friend to me or you, then we would be able to explain them, and more likely than not, it would sound like their sun sign qualities. I am trying to bring awareness to the downfalls of what needs changed at our level to make the world a better place, and I'm doing this for a reason. We as humans are master creators, manifestors, and we thrive as a society right now on violence and negativity. What we imagine and put out into the world is literally what the world becomes, good or bad. 
It is called manifestation, and it is one of the universal laws, the boomerang law. What you give is what you get. What you put out there is what you're going to get back. It is important that we take care of this planet for the generations ahead, for the plants, and for the animals. One-time plastics, they should be considered as dangerous as a coat hanger abortion or as having, um, wait, they are a microscopic terrorist organization infiltrating our country and killing everything via cancer and other mutant diseases that plastics cause. They're already here. This is already, this is a one-way war against us. Plastics are murdering us. My website is southwestmystic.net. I do post my sources. I am trying to reduce one-time plastics and bring awareness to the scams that are poisoning the world. I may not be 100% right, and I might not be saying it perfectly, but I'm doing my best. (laughs) For me, the sun is something I feel is sacred. I love the sunshine. I love feeling it on my skin. I enjoy spending days in the sun. When I was a teenager, I would have visions of the sun, like you could just hop in it and drive it around like a tour bus. The sun is a symbol of force, of sanctity, and of growth. The sunshine is formidable and unforgiving, much like the Southwest United States. If you have no respect for the sun and its power, you have no place in this high and low desert of the country. Stop buying one-time plastic bottles of soda or juice or water. Stop being a part of the problem. Stop Stop accepting excessive trash with your food, like straws and plastic spoons. Have your own and reuse them. When you are choosing to kill animals and planets by accepting one-time plastics, that obviously makes you part of the problem. It's very cool that in the Zodiac, the sun represents our external drive, our ego, and our pride. The sun lives in the fifth house out of the 12 houses in our Zodiac sky. This house is smack in the middle of the Zodiac as the sun is the center, the all-seeing eye of who we are. The sun is represented by fire, a yellow-gold color, red almost, orange, Essentially, your sun sign is the center of who you are. Like I had mentioned, the sun is most closely related to the attributes of the Leo sign in astrology. One of the main attributes of the Leo is strength. Leo lives in the fifth house also, which is the house of creation and children. A lot of artists and very good parents are Leos. One of the most famous American Leos is Madonna, who has created over 60 top 10 hit songs and trails the Beatles as far as sales. She also has raised and is raising six children. She also did her hair like a Leo for many years in the 90s. She knows how to embrace and work with her Leo magic in this world. As far as how you can use your sun sign... Like we had discussed, you place your wishes into the moon. After that, you focus your strengths from your sun sign to manifest that wish. It makes sense because the moon represents what's deep inside you, your core or foundation. This is the place you come from. So placing a wish in that inner aspect of yourself will only stew and help manifest that outerly. When you use your strengths to surface that inner passion, you will be successful and bright like the sun. The sun helps you to take that first step through the door when trying a new class or doing something by yourself. The sun gives you courage to take actions for yourself. The sun allows you to embrace your gifts and share them with others to strengthen your surroundings and make your world better. If we each embraced the positivity of our sun sign, we would make the world a better place. Better is an enemy of best. If we aim for best, knowing better is what we'll get, we are good. (laughs) So aim for best. Don't try to be the best. 
being best is a fallacy to me. It's flawed reasoning. The sun is your drive, your passions, and your ego. Life is not peaches and cream. And as we get older, it gets more chaotic because of the information and environmental overload. We are overpopulated. So I feel like symbiosis is not easily found. Many people feel like strays in their thoughts. The outside world is super conflicting anymore with morals. In Stan Lee world, I feel like this is exactly the point when the superheroes step in. But no one in a cape is showing up to slow the oil co- oil companies or to stop the violence in Gaza or Ukraine or to stop this ridiculous colonization junk that keeps happening to assimilate other cultures into our negative, greed-mongering culture. It appears instead that the larger corporations that run the countries are trying to profit off of the suffering and massacres with oil, weapons manufacturing, and ratings wars with media coverage. Wars are huge money-making machines, humans made into weapons to line the pocketbooks of billionaires. I wonder how many wars are happening that I have no clue about. The media is so careful to choose what we get to know. Following your spirit, that part of you that no one else should be allowed to manipulate, and you will help make this world a better place. The United States has no room for complacence any longer, but we seem to be building a tolerance for bullshit. And this is not a tolerance to build on a political stage for any country. Speaking of tolerance for bullshit, I would like to make a direct correlation with bullshit and your ego. There is sometimes a darkened, thick outer shell you slowly build around your spirit as you mature to protect yourself, to protect that moon sign. That dark shell is built from outside global affairs, childhood trauma perhaps, feeling or being an outcast not meant for this harsh world, a victim of abuse, or simply being raised in an authoritarian manner, being told to shut up and obey and suppress personal thinking. This shell is seen in so many people today, and it makes them seem blind in many ways to their personal self, as they have not only closed themselves off to the world, but to their spirits. It is like some people live and die without ever using that precious space in their mind that is meant to create and conquer and learn, to overcome and thrive, or to grow. Think of people that are, I'm so cool, I wear sunglasses at night. They're so self-centered on their ego that they do not learn who they really are. Reincarnation is mentioned in many multiple mainstream religions, such as the over-translated Bible. When you look at your life as a cycling of energy, you want to ascend. Positivity is how you ascend. Creating light is how you ascend, not creating darkness, not by staying complacent and allowing the world to determine your fate. If you stay outside of that shell, you will not accomplish much. And when you know the basic truths and understand these things about yourself, such as your zodiac, your birth order, your karma, your genetic traits, you can navigate and steer life in a much easier, more confident, self-driven term. To quickly mention, you also have a rising sign. So you have a moon sign, a sun sign, and a rising sign. The zodiac constellation to the east of your sun sign on the horizon when you were born. For me, this is the constellation of Cancer. This represents the way the world sees me most easily on a professional or social scale, like my outward personality. A rising Cancer is known to be a friend for life, compassionate, empathetic, giving, and loving. 
in my opinion, I'm very much a Cancer rising. As you see, I am getting more complicated as an individual by the minute with my sun, my moon, and my rising sign. And they're all very different than yours, most likely. And we put those sun, moon, and rising together, we completely create a different dynamic of character. So it's very important to understand and to learn and dissect your spirit, so to speak. Actions speak louder than words. Your sun sign is a representative of your actions. And when you start to learn and understand yourself and understand the importance of positivity and the role it plays for our future and the environment around us, the better place our world will be. So next week, we're going to go over Mercury. I knew this kid in junior high, unfortunate story, he would break open thermometers and he would play with that mercury inside. He's dead now because of that. Don't mess with mercury. (laughs) Mercury is the ruler of communication and intellect, something that kid apparently lacked. Please stop one-time use plastics and support a future without one-time use plastics. Let's live with this planet and not just on it. Thank you so much for listening to me and what I've learned about the sun and sharing it with you. I am Mystical Mia, and this is my podcast, Elect Reality. My website is southwestmystic.net, and I am on YouTube at Southwest Mystic. Thank you. I would like to introduce my dad playing a song about the sun for me to help end my podcast today. Thank you. Oh, well, so our warm star feels near yet so far. We use it to measure our years. Shines bright and it disappears. Oh, the soul goes on and on, comes back and we call it dawn. Well, that sunshine, sunshine, it's my friend. Sunshine, sunshine, I've been. Sunshine, sunshine, I'm just friend.